Hi everyone, this is a short video tutorial on everything Olympiad. Right from registration, what you should expect a couple of days before, what you should expect the event to be like, a little after, and everything in between. So let's get started. So this is you or your team and you are very excited about the Olympiad. So you head straight to the Climate Science Olympiad page where earthlies await in your registration. So when you scroll down, you'll see it says register for a qualifier in your language. So you have preferences in which you could choose to give your Olympiad qualifier. All the events are listed according to date and time under the languages they're being held in. Now you, you could notice that some of them say a private event, some of them are open for all. This just basically means that you could register for two types of events. One, a private event is one which is held specifically for a set audience. Like a school, a uni, an organization could host private qualifiers only for their students. And the other events are open for absolutely anyone. So, how do you register? You click. The first thing it will ask you is whether you want to register on your own or with a friend or a teammate. Let's say I want to register alone. I click that and I have just some simple information to feed in. So, let's do that. I give my email address, my name, my birth date. and the country I'm from. And we would love to know how you found out about us, so you could tell us that as well. And that's it. Once you click next, your registration is done. And as soon as you do this, you will get an email. This email confirms that, see, hey, congratulations on registering for the Climate Olympia. So this confirms that you have registered for the Olympiad. Now this is a very important email because this contains all the information that you will need on the day of the event to log in to your response platform. What do I mean by that? I'll tell you in just a minute. So going back, now we've registered for the Olympiad. What happens 10, 10 days before the event? 10 days before the event, we'll send you an email with the three categories on which you'll be asked questions on. Now, why you will get three categories, you have to choose just one to respond to. So, what are these categories out of? We could ask you questions on any of these categories, and they are energy, agriculture, development, economy, waste, transport, carbon capture, and biodiversity. So 10 days before your qualifier, we'll send you any three of these categories. Feel free to prepare for all three, whichever one you feel most comfortable in. The more you prepare, the more comfortable you'll feel during the event itself. And remember, this is absolutely not a test of how much you can memorize. This is, in fact, a platform to get creative, to get really excited about the solutions that you can come up with. So we don't care if you reference 1, 2, 30 different websites before coming up with the best solution. So the more you prepare, the happier we are. One day before the event, you'll get a little reminder from us saying that your qualifier is tomorrow. And then one hour before the event, another little reminder. And then finally, the day arrives. The qualifiers today. So, remember that email that I told you about while registering? Now, this is where it gets really important. This thing that says Olympiad platform login area, this is what you have to select. You select this, put it into your URL tab, and it will take you to something like this. This is your login page. 
Now the login details that are provided to you here are meant to be put in here. So you have that. You have a password. Ah, there we go. So it it sends you off to a page that looks like this. It says Welcome to the Climate Science Olympiad. Now, the, a moderator will start the event after confirming that all the teams are there. Once the moderator starts your event, your event platform starts to look a little different. Now you can see that the timer has been set off and it's counting down from three hours. And here, you get to select one of the three topics. So you can select whichever one you're most comfortable with, you feel like you have prepared for more. Let's go with a sustainable economy. As soon as you pick one of the drop downs, you will get a little blurb, which will inform you of the general situation and what your questions are going to pertain to. And then your responses will be recorded here. You can start right. You can start addressing these detailed questions. Each of these detailed questions pertain to specific questions about your larger topic. And the word limit here for the detailed questions are three hundred words. Don't worry, you don't need to keep track of it, since this is an automated response sheet. It won't allow you to go beyond the word limit and your responses are also automatically saved. And then towards the end, you might summarize and give us your larger solution and larger strategy, which deals with the problem that we have posed. And towards the end, you can list all the different sources that you have referenced. Don't feel like you are limited to the references that we have provided to you. These are just a guideline. You can definitely reference any other sources that you may find. Let me just give you an example of how we would like you to reference something. Say I write a sentence, climate science is really fun. And I have read this on the internet at some website. So. I put a square bracket, I write 1, and over here, I make a reference ID, 1, and I give the link from which I made that reference. This just helps us to know what interesting pages, what interesting sources that you have referenced, and what preparation you have done in coming up with these amazing solutions for your problems. So once you're done, Make best use of the three hours. Go ahead and submit. And that's about it. Your responses will be stored with us and our judges will be looking forward to reading your solutions. And that's all you have to do during the event day. So then what happens after? You might all want to still be in touch with the other participants and engage in brainstorming different ideas or just be enthusiastic about a community that cares about the earth. And we would love for you to do that, which is why we have a platform on Slack, which is called Climate Science Olympiad, where you can continue engaging with other participants and probably even find a teammate for qualifiers ahead if you wish to participate again. Details about how to join the Slack will be attached in a text along with this video and as we're all really proud of everyone who enters the Olympiad, we will send you across a certificate for your participation and after this all you need to do is wait. Our expert judges judge each response at the end of the month. So for example, if your qualifier happened on the 15th of March. Our judges will judge all the qualifier responses at the end of the month, beginning of the next month. 
So you could expect your results and responses by say sometime in April. So in the meanwhile, if you want to register for more qualifiers, absolutely feel free to do so. You can participate a total of three times, but you can attempt a qualifier only once in a month, which means again, for example, you appeared for your first qualifier on the 15th of March. The next time you could do so is April and then in May and so on and so forth. So as long as you appear for qualifiers in different months, you can participate thrice throughout the period of Jan to September where now qualifiers are being held. So I hope that this video has helped you understand the flow of events, what, you're, what you could expect and what you're expected to do at different stages of the qualifier, at the registration, and anything that you could have needed to know in between. You can always contact us or refer to the website for any additional information that you may need. Until then, Good luck with your qualifiers.